Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to Mr. Grable and our grade 3 math class where we are organizing and discovering and finding out all about data. Today on page 105, we are going to talk more about that. Yes, we're practicing. Here we go. Practice page 105. 100 zero tens five ones now first question says some children were asked how many times they have been on a train okay so you can see that we have a tally graph there a tally chart tally table beside it and it says times on the train zero one two three and more than three and number of students and there's tallies so i put for number one times on the train zero and then the number of students in tallies because the first question says, how many children have never been on a train? And here is the answer. Hmm. The question is, do you know what that answer is? Well, you know how to count by five. So we have five, 10, 11, 12. The standard way of writing it, of course, is one, 10, and two ones. But the other way of representing it, of course, is two five tallies and two one tallies makes 12. 12 kids have never been on a train in that survey. Number two, how many children were asked the question? Well, quite a few. 12, right, that said zero, and four that said one, and seven that said two, and 10 that said three, and two that said more than three times. Okay, now I'm gonna let you add that up because you're in grade three, you can handle it. And that will give you the answer to how many children were asked the question. Count them all up, add them all up. Three, three says, Carlos asked his classmates this question. Okay, so he had a question and here's his survey. Are you right-handed or left-handed? You see he has the two columns, one under left-handed, one under right-handed and he organized his data in a list. So he just listed the people's names off. 3A says, how many children are left-handed? Well, Ethel, one, Dan, two, Igor, three, Selena, four, four. Okay, how many more children are right-handed than left-handed? Oh, that's a little tricky, how many more? So we know that there's four left-handed. Now let's count up how many right-handed. Maria, one. Lucia, two. Bobby, three. Clark, four. Fred, five. Sylvester, six. Andy, seven. And Helen, eight. So they're asking how many more, though. So there's eight right-handed minus the four left-handed. I'm pretty sure you know the answer to that one. There you go. 8B. And finally... C. Write a question about Carlos's list. So you can write whatever you want, but it has to do with Carlos's list. It has to make sense, something about left-handed or right-handed. Okay, and then answer your own question in D. And of course, always stretch your thinking. And keep working on your data collection. Try this at home. Have a great day. Bye-bye.